My previous two videos explained option delta, then option gamma. Now I'm going to tie them together to explain and visually interpret what it means to have delta plus gamma exposure when we are either long or short the call or the put option. And to do that, I'll use a single simple formula. Quantity multiplied by percentage Greek equals position Greek. So we'll distinguish between percentage Greek and position Greek, which help us avoid a confusion and understand why percentage gamma is always positive, but our position gamma can be negative or is negative if we have a short option position. I'm showing two different graphs, but these are just opposite sides of the same single underlying trade. So a way to think about this is on the left can be you, and on the right will be me as your counterparty. Over here, right, this sheet is for a call option. On the next sheet is for a put option. So on the left, we have your, pers your perspective as a buyer or the one who has a long position in this option. And let's say you bought it from me, so I sold it or I wrote the option. Then this is my perspective as the one who has a short position in the option, but they are mirror images of each other. On the lower left, we have option inputs as usual, and I have tied these together so that if we in this downloadable worksheet so that if you change the stock price, for example, my tangent lines, those are the ones in blue, do shift to their appropriate location. So right here, I'm showing the uh, tangent line where the point of tangency is the $100, and this is an at the money option. So for you on the left, long position, the call option, the black shoals merton value of this option, according to these assumptions, when the stock price is 100 and we're at the money, is $13.75. Uh, that's the where we hit the y-axis here, right? We have a graph of on the y-axis call option value as it varies with a change in the stock price on the x-axis. And so now tying delta and gamma together for both of our relative perspectives. Here's the key formula, very simple formula we want to know to... to uh, recognize the our position exposure, our position Greek. So let's look at the position delta. All we need to do is multiply the quantity times the percentage Greek. So in this case, I'm going to say we're using delta, so I'm saying the percentage delta, right? It's just quantity times the percentage Greek. In this case, quantity times multiplied by the percentage delta covered delta two videos back in the playlist. And I mentioned that technically we call it percentage delta, but it's a uh, confusing in this case because uh, the delta percentage delta is a unitless quantity, but we call it a percentage delta. We could call it a per option delta as well. For a call option, of course, we do know that it needs to be between zero and one. So it's about where we expect and at the money call option. Quantity multiplied by percentage Greek, in this case the percentage delta, is going to give us the position Greek, in this case the pos position delta. That's the important formula that I always try to really, really emphasize to avoid the confusions that we're going to, uh, that I'm going to explain shortly. We multiply the quantity by the percentage Greek to get the position Greek. So let me do that for delta specifically. From your perspective as the one who is long the call option. And let's just now say that we're dealing with a single contract. So we have a quantity. That a single contract is for 100 options. You've purchased one option contract in this underlying stock. What is your position delta? Well, we take the quantity. That's 100. We multiply it by the percentage delta. 0.6115, and we see that your position delta is 61.15. And then I'm going to be explicit here about the fact that this is a positive because you purchased or are long. And of course, this is positive as well. It must be. And so your position delta is positive 61.15. How do we interpret that? Very easily, actually. Well, it's characterized by movement along the blue line. In this case, for a contract of 100 options, stock price increases by $1. We gain, you gain, 
your long, you, your position gains by about $61. Very simple. Now, what about my perspective? Same single rule. I'll use the same single rule throughout all four examples. I am short the 100 call options. So I'm going to move and move over here and make sure I make sure I'm focused on my position as the counterparty. I am short 100 call options. And so I need to use negative 100 for the quantity. Negative signifies the fact that I'm short. I multiply by the percentage delta, 0.6115. And so my position delta is negative 6115. So you see how this distinction between the percentage Greek, in this case percentage delta, and the position Greek, in this case position delta, is important. My interpretation is similar. I'm your counterparty, so from a linear perspective, I'm going to have the mirror uh, experience to yours. If the stock price goes up a dollar, my negative 61 position delta says I lose $61. I'm short the option. Okay, now what about gamma? Well, we have covered and we can just visually see that using delta, uh, we characterize delta or we can visualize delta as moving along the blue line. It's not going to address the gaps between the straight line and the reality of the curvature. And we so we can call that curvature gamma. Some we can also call it convexity, but we call it gamma in the option context. And so let's take a look at your position gamma applying the same rule. You've purchased 100 options. Now I'll be explicit about the quantity. The percentage gamma is positive uh, 0.0128. Your position gamma is 1.28. And so I'm not going to worry about the uh, numerical translation of that position gamma into the actual value delta here. But if you're familiar with the Taylor series, it's not too hard, really. We just take that gamma and per the Taylor series, right, we multiply by one half times the gamma, I'll use gamma for that, multiplied by the change in the risk factor. That In that case, that's the stock price here, and we square it. So that this gamma adjustment um, is always positive. Okay, but not my focus now. Currently, my focus just to, is just on the directionality of the impact. Because when we came back, we came back from your perspective, and we can see you have positive gamma. And Visually, this is confirmed, and it's very interesting. It means that you are in a win-win situation. Positive gamma, which is necessary for long the option. If you're long an option, you have positive gamma, and we can see now why that's true. Positive quantity times a percentage gamma that is always positive means the position gamma is always positive. Now we can see why you're in a win-win position. Stock price increases. Per the delta, moving up the blue line, you are gaining. But that gap is also positive. That positive position delta quantifies the fact that when you gain, the curvature makes you gain even more. You gain an accelerating rate. But also, very interesting, how about when you lose? Notice you this gap makes you lose less. You are win-win on both sides. What about me? I've written the option I'm short, applying the same exact rule. However, I I am short 100 options, quantity, multiplied by same gamma, 0 0.0128. And my position gamma is negative 1.28. I have negative position gamma, and so I am lose-lose, right? We start at 100. Stock price, let's say stock price decreases, my delta exposure produces a gain for me. After all, right, I'm uh, short a call option. I'm going to gain directionally here due to the delta as I move to the left. However, the gap works against me. So the curvature in the form of negative position gamma means I gain less. And then notice over here, Stock price increase, I've written the call option. My delta's showing up for me here as a loss. That's the biggest factor. But the gap works against me. 
when I lose, I lose even more. I'm lose-lose. And so for this reason, here's the uh, a key characteristic of gamma. Let's just say at the money here at 100, you uh, delta hedge or we both delta hedge. Your delta hedge here where you are um, you are long you are long uh, uh, 100 options. Your delta hedge would be to short be short uh, 61 options. I'm sorry, 61 shares. Long 100 options with a position delta of 61 means you would short 61 shares to be delta neutral or neutralized or delta, right? Shares have a delta of one. So that means you're protected against delta, but you'll still have the positive gamma. So you would gain on any big jumps in the stock price. So positive gamma, when you're delta neutralized, is to be positively exposed to volatility. Over here, same situation for me. I'm, I'm negative 100 options. My delta hedge is to be long 61 shares. If I, if I write you 100 options, then I purchase 61 shares. I am hedged with respect to delta, but I will still have my negative position gamma exposure. And that means that if there are large jumps in the stock price, I lose. And so we say uh, short short position gamma is exposure to volatility. Okay, and so then more briefly, I'll just take a look at the next sheet, and that's for the put option. And you'll notice uh, for the put option here, the percentage delta is negative. As we expect, we know that it needs to be between negative 1 and 0. And so uh, let's say from your the your perspective, you're the one who's purchased one uh, option contract on these puts. So your position delta is quantity plus 100 multiplied by the negative 0.3885 means your position delta is negative 38. So 38.85 will just round to negative 39 is your position delta. What that means is stock price increases by $1, you can expect to lose uh, by uh, $39. Your, what about your gamma, your negative 100 uh, put options multiplied by your gamma. Notice the gamma is the same. Gamma is going to be the same for the call and the put if the strike and term are identical per put call parity, actually. So your negative 100 options at a uh, per percentage or per option gamma of 0 0.0128 means your position gamma is negative. No, I'm sorry, you're positive. I meant positive 0 0.128. Just like before, um, your position gamma is positive. So that means uh, you've purchased the put. Stock price decreases. You gain on the delta, but the gap works in your favor. You gain even more due to the curvature or gamma when the stock price decreases. You're long the put, so you lose, according to delta, when the stock price increases. However, the curvature, the gamma, protects you. You lose less due to this positive gamma exposure, positive position gamma. And then finally, for me on the right, I, am, I have written... 100 put options with a per per gamma or percentage gamma of 0 0.0128. And so my position gamma is actually the same as it was before. Same for the call and the put because they both share the same percentage gamma. So in this case now, I've written the put. And so I'm going to lose if the stock price decreases, but my negative position gamma exposure means I lose even more. And then, sad for me, uh, stock price increases. That's what I wanted in terms of delta. I'm in terms of the delta exposure I'm gaining, but 
I'm going to be, it's going to be mitigated. I'm going to gain even less due to the curvature. And so my negative position gamma exposure is basically a short position on volatility. Uh, the abrupt jumps themselves are working against me just like they're working in your favor. So I hope, hope that's helpful in tying together uh, delta gamma and visually providing the intuition for that. Thank you.